Today we've been diagnosing a no fuel issue on a 92 F-150 with dual tanks. Uh, the issue was we were getting spark to the coil, but we weren't getting the fuel pump to come on. Uh, the Fords usually have about a three second prime. If you just turn the key in the on position, let it sit there, you'll hear it whir for a second, then it stops, and then it's ready to start. Couldn't get that to do what I needed to do, so I came up and I checked this fuse, which is the third slot back on the left side. That's for your fuel pump, it's 20 amp fuse. It was good, so that meant that the issue was from here to the switch that's in the cab, and then from the switch, if it, there was power there, on back to the fuel pump. Now, I conveniently have a hole cut in the bed, but that was a previous owner. Basically, what I did was I checked the, the fuse first, since that was the simplest thing, and I just came straight back here, pulled the plug off, and was seeing if I was getting voltage. The yellow and blue wire is uh, for your fuel sender. Orange wire is your for your power to the pump that forces it to work. That should have 12 volts on that wire. The black or brown wire, uh, depending on which tank, is your negative. And then you have uh, another one there. It's also for your sending unit. So I had 8 volts here truck had 12 and a half volts at the battery so that meant that there was an issue between and I had replaced this before because it had went bad but the uh, transfer switch it's in the front tank and as I pulled it I noticed that this wire and the red and yellow one right behind it here had uh, pulled out and that was my problem there was it wasn't able to get the power to the pump back here because the transfer switch was the issue. So if you guys get a no fuel issue before you go slinging parts and paying $200 per pump, diagnose it, troubleshoot it. You know, you know you got 12 and a half volts on a fully charged battery. Check your fuse up here. And then if you have power to the fuse, it's not popped. Check your uh, inertia switch on the passenger side, the kick panel, pull it out. You'll see a little box with a red button on top. If the red button is extended in up position, it's fine. If it's pressed down in, it's been subject to a hit or somebody's pressed it. That's just a, a kick, a shut off for it, emergency. Uh, but from the fuse, your next thing you want to check is right here. You can see the red and yellow wires is your power wires. The white and yellow wires is your for your uh, fuel gauge. And then the brown and white is a negative. And the blue, uh, that's for the rear. The blue and yellow is for the one tank and white and yellow is for the other tank for your uh, fuel gauge sending unit. So it tells you how much fuel you've got. And then the red and yellow wires are your power for both. And your switch here is just like an ordinary switch you would get in a house, uh, just on and off switch. But instead of on and off, it's actually almost like a three-way. It doesn't have a center position, but it either goes front tank or rear tank. Uh, this part particularly is $18 and some odd cents from Advance Auto. Uh, now that I know what the issue is, I can fix it and not have to replace it. But just wanted to go over that today real quick and give you a quick, very quick overview on how to diagnose a no fuel pump issue. That you know, your pump's not turning on, you're not getting fuel to the engine. And on my other video, tells where the uh, trader valve is for uh, fuel pressure relief on the fuel rail up on the 4.9 liter engines. Uh, that's another way to tell if you're getting pressure and fuel up to your uh, injectors. But that's that's it for today. Short video, but very sensible. You know, 12 and a half volts from your battery. Fuse is good. You can also do a continuity check, make sure you get 12 volts there. You should be getting 12 volts here, and then again, back here, you should be getting 12 volts on your pump, both of them. My rear one doesn't work, that's why I just use the front, but that's just the overview for today, and you guys have a good day.